We're here today to send notice to Boris Johnson and the Tory government that we want independence in Scotland. We don't want to be part of their toxic union. It's a union that's racist, it's divisive, it's reactionary. They have absolutely screwed their economy over and we want to break free from this horrible marriage. We want a divorce from the United Kingdom and we're here to show there's a huge appetite for independence amongst the people of Scotland and that's why there'll be tens of thousands here today demonstrating to exercise that right to freedom and democracy from the United Kingdom. The people of Scotland have voted continuously in the last six elections for freedom, for an independence referendum. We are now calling on the Scottish Government to set the date for that referendum. We want it now, not later, because the longer we stay inside of Great Britain, the more unemployment, the more child poverty, the more disasters like the COVID pandemic, how that's been mishandled by the government. So we want out of this union and we want out now. National Energy Corporation, good on that manifesto, uh, which I was a member, uh, used to read assiduously, of the SNP, for voting for a Scottish national... <laughs> We're for Scotland, but we're for Scotland as a part of Europe. We're really angry that, about Brexit and the fact that we've been removed from Europe. We're angry with Westminster for mucking everything up and we're just desperate for independence. We feel we're being sidelined, we've been sidelined for so long and the Tory government are just horrible, horrible government, a horrible government and I think it's time that we, we should leave now, we should leave the, 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 the union. Uh, we are major players in the union but they act as if we're not. We're minor players but we are major players in the union, Scotland, but we're treated as second class citizens. I think we've been in the union for too long, it's 300 years now, so I feel that we should, we could run our own affairs, like make many small countries, we could do well, like Denmark, and it's just a matter of uh, self-belief, and uh, of course, with London holding all the cards, that we're kind of, we're tied, and we've got to ask for permission to have a referendum, or an independence. We've already had one seven years ago, but uh, it was heavily rigged for the state who control all the purse strings. And I think now these people are gr gr learning to see it in a different light, you know, that kind of... <laughs> Because I've been living in Scotland for 12 years, Ireland, as you know, is an independent country from the UK, which creates a better future for our children. And that's exactly why I'm here today. I want Scotland to be a self-determining country that can make the choices and choose its own future rather than have the uh, future mapped out from us by a different Parliament with a Tory government in it, who people in Scotland don't like anyway, didn't elect, haven't elected since 1955, 
and we still have to suffer things like Brexit, which we voted very strongly against in Scotland, almost 63%. And there's empty shelves, you know, down to that. And we want to be able to plot our own future.